Aye, right, boom. Right here, man's got some pure silver metal, you get me? Now, pure silver is not magnetic. However, it can conduct an electrical current and that, do you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. So what we're going to do, yeah, is melt down the silver, do you know what I'm saying? So we're going to slap it into the furnace and that. Then we're going to bust on the power, you get me? So obviously, silver metal melts at 961 degrees Celsius, innit? And it's actually bare soft as a metal. That's why when they make sterling silver jewellery and that, they have to add a little bit of copper to make it tough. Otherwise, it will just break up bare easy, fam. Now, when the silver melts, yeah, it's actually a crazy thing because it starts forming some cinematic patterns and that, innit? And that's because we're using an induction heater, innit? And what it does, yeah, is it directs an electromagnetic field towards the metal in it. So when it melts into a liquid, the electromagnetic field induces different geometric patterns in the metal, fam. Look at that, cuz, geometry settings and that. It's a similar thing to when you move your hand in some water and it creates some ripples and waves and that. It's a mad thing, fam. Alright, cool. So we're going to take it out of the furnace now, then we're going to put it into the mould. But we're going to preheat the mould first to get a better pour in that, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, bruv. 